everybody, it's Holly here today with a new video for Marker Pop. And today we're going to be making a fun project using some new products from Mama Elephant and the Stitch Cloud dies from My Favorite Things. We're going to start out by die cutting the Stitch Clouds from some 110 pound cardstock, or you can cut it out from some acetate or any type of material you want to use as a stencil or a mask. So I'm going to use a piece of Bristol cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm using some Broken China Distress Ink. And I'm going to flick starting on this uh, mask and then I'm going to flick up onto the cardstock using more pressure around the edge of the cloud. This will give me a nice um, gradient for my clouds. Then you're just going to put your clouds down wherever you want them to create your background. And you want to remember to start working on the cloud and then work up onto the cardstock. This will give you a super harsh edge and I'll have a nice blend out, kind of an ombre look. So you go with the transition from the blue to the white when you're creating your sky. And you can do a couple of them at the bottom, a couple of them at the top. You can do them all the way across. Um, this your sky. You can just make it however you want to do it. And this will work with any inks as well, too. It doesn't have to be distress inks. It's just what I'm using. But any of your inks that are blendable with a sponge dauber of some type will work for this. I made uh, my mask out of 110 pound cardstock, and then I'm just going to store them with my um, dies right in the package. And you can reuse them over and over again. This will be a good way, thing to make out of some acetate or some chipboard or like the boxes, your cereal boxes. It's good and thick. So once your clouds are all set to go, you're just going to set that aside to dry a little bit. Because we all know how distress ink reacts with water and it likes to work if you get your fingerprints on it. And I have another piece of Bristol cardstock because we're going to be using the Zig Clean Color Real brush pens. And we're going to use this new set from Mama Elephant called Carried Away. And we're also going to use the coordinating dies today with that as well. And I'm going to use some Ranger Archival Black Ink. I'm going to stamp my images down onto the Bristol cardstock. And I'm stamping them, um, making sure to leave enough space for um, the dies when I run them through the big shot. I had to stamp a couple of them twice because they're new and I didn't condition them first by stamping on some scrap paper. So And then once I have them all stamped down, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring them in with the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And I'm going to start out using the flesh um, on the marker. And I'm still trying to play with my angle here of my video to make sure I'm showing you what I'm doing and I'm not covering up with my hand. So bear with me here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the color down. And I'm going to leave one side white. And kind of what I did in my last video, but I'm going to work the opposite. Instead of starting out in the white area and coming into the color, you're going to start and pull the color from the colored area into the white area with your paintbrush. And I'm just using a thin paintbrush. You can use an aqua painter that's barely damp. You want to dip it in the water and then dip it on a paper towel so it's just slightly damp. Because again, you're using Bristol cardstock, you're not using watercolor paper. So here you can see you just take your brush into the dark area and then you just pull it into the white area. And then once that dries a little bit, if you lightened it up too much, you can go back in and add a little bit more with the marker. So I'm using flush for her face, and then I'm using light pink for her cheeks, and then I'm going to use violet for her dress. And I'm going to use uh, yellow um, as well. And then her hair is going to be beige. And the little bunny that I'm going to color is going to be light gray. And those are the colors that I'm using. And I'll also put them down in the description box below. Another thing to remember when you're working with um, watercolor or these pens, um, they do stay wet for a while, so you want to work in opposite directions. You don't want to work on two areas that are right up against each other. So you can see I kind of bump around here and move around on my image.
These markers are great because you can use them alone or you can use them with water um, to achieve so many different looks and different techniques with them. And off to the side there, I have a little bit of water I spritzed on my craft mat that I'm using to dip my paintbrush in, and then I have a paper towel handy there. And here you can see I'm going back in, just adding a little bit more of the color. So I have a nice contrast between the shadows and my light areas. And I'm not being exact at where my shadows are, I'm just laying the color down where I like it. And then I don't show it on the camera, but when I'm all done with all of my coloring, I do go ahead and I heat set that with my heat tool for just a few minutes just to make sure everything's nice and dry. And again, you're working on Bristol cardstock, so you want to make sure that paintbrush is very, very dry almost, just slightly damp, because if you overwork the paper, it will pull up. You could also do the same effect on the watercolor cardstock, and it would work beautifully. And here I was just testing out what color I was going to use the balloon. I kind of just thought, just go with the yellow. So now this is a bigger area, so you want to do the same thing. You're going to put the color down directly. And then I just changed to a bigger paintbrush. Still want to use a light amount of water. And you're going to start on the color, and you're going to pull that into the white area. And these pens work just like watercolors, so any area that you touch with your water on that paintbrush, is the color is going to lift a little bit. So if you're coloring a big area like this, you're going to want to make sure you keep, you go over the entire area or you go half spots. So then we're going to go ahead and die cut them with the dies. And I went ahead and cut them out. And then I also cut out my cloud panel with the So Fancy die from Mama Elephant. I'm using that large one with the little X's. We're going to go ahead and put the sentiment on. The sentiment is from the same stamp set, Carried Away, and I'm going to use my Misty. And again, I'm sorry about my angle with the camera. I'm really just trying to find a good one that will work where I'm not always off the camera, but I'm also not having my hands over what I'm doing so you guys can see the coloring. So there I'm just going to go ahead and use the VersaFine Black Ink to stamp down my sentiment. Everybody pretty much knows how the misty works by now. So I stamp that in there and then I've already attached the front panel to a top folding uh, standard size white card base. And I didn't add foam adhesive or anything, I just glued it straight down onto the card. And now I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back of my images. I'm going to put it on the balloon and the little girl and the bunny. And for the string, I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, Tombow glue just to the little pieces. It's very thin, so just to the ends there. I'm going to kind of rest the string up on the top there. And sorry, again, I'm, I'm off camera. So I'm going to get the little bunny down on there. Then I want a little bit of bling, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And I'm using the uh, multi-pack or the mix that has the 10, 8, and 6 millimeter, I believe, or it's the 8, 6, and 4, I think, actually, 8, 6, and 4. And I'm going to put them down with some Ranger Multimedia Matte, which is my standard go-to for sequins, as everybody knows. And I'm just putting my sequins down, and that pretty much finishes up my card for today. So um, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. And if you haven't already picked up this Mama Elephant release, go and get it, because it is super adorable. Along with this set, there's also a really cute unicorn set. Uh, label set and some really fun rainbow dyes. So go and get your new mama elephant. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.